8.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Sunday, October 16th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I want to do a quick morning update as we got a little party today for Julie's mom. So I'm about to start in about an hour or so. I got to start cooking my homemade spaghetti sauce as that was her birthday request, which is an old family recipe from Italy. It's about four generations old, maybe longer. So it'll <clears throat> be a nice thing. I got to cook it for six or seven hours. I make some meatballs, fry them up, and then I put them in the sauce with some meat. And then obviously my uh, sauce the way I desire it. And then it's got to cook for about six to seven hours, maybe eight hours. But we'll see if I can get it on by 10 o'clock or 10.30 at the latest. So that is what's going on for me. So XRP right now is at 4834 up 0.31%. Excuse me, I'm walking through this little area as I'm on my way to the store because I've got to... Well, I'm actually by the store, but I've got to get a couple ingredients. So I'm just kind of walking around. The birds are chirping loud this morning, so it's a nice fine start here in the great state of Michigan as the fighting Wolverines. Michigan Wolverines with the 7-0 yesterday, beating number 10 Penn State, so a fantastic one there. Uh, crypto, though, I'm just taking a look around the board. We're up a slight bit on most. If you're in the Telegram, I put a Kava trading alert around $1.37.8. $1.38 was the buy-in area, so it's up a couple, about 1.45% if you're in a leverage trade there, so that's fantastic. Um, Bitcoin's up 0.43%. It had 200 Bitcoin sell off, but I noticed right down here, but it instantly got bought back up, so it is possible we can still move up a little bit here today. Now, we're going to want to make any of these moves before the futures open. And I would advise you to look in the 30-minute time frame as we do have a, a bullish cross trying to start here, possibly, if we can get a, one more leg up here. So we're holding this support. We had a nice return down for some liquidity. And to me, Bitcoin looks like it's posed for like a 19,300 move. It's not very much. I acknowledge it's not a very big move. But what it can do is allow like XRP to reverse back up and possibly touch this 50 cents. Now, Tom, what's going to have to happen? Well, you're going to have to see us not get rejected by 4836 and then make a return run back up because it does look like it's slightly rounding the bottom here. And if we can gain just a little bit more momentum, this absolutely could come up and create a right shoulder up here, even on a topping reversal. Because right now it could be a jank bull flag, even though it looks like an M topping reverse. So it's got to have this serious pull down. And right now the volume hasn't come in. And I would love to see XRP make a move before the futures opens tonight at approximately 8 p.m. But before everything comes back online around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is the move that I would love to see. Um, so what we're watching for right now is we're going to see the reactionary attempt here. Can we get back above 4836 and ultimately make a move back up to about 49, about 50 cents? If not, we have underneath support this morning. And it's going to be tough because we're like in the zone. We got 4462 underneath, but then we have a better one here as well. I might have to go into my other way of looking. Yeah, we'll have to go to the perpetuals and I'm just going to have to show you. So... It's so tough because we re I really want to see a back test here. But if we break down, we've got 45, 55, and 47 cents is the bottom line. I'll put it down here so everybody can see. Close enough. We've got... Let's go down here. Okay, so right down in here. So if you're looking at your chart, just right there, 45, 55, and then also have something around 47 cents. What I'm going to do, because I don't want to put a line in there. We're gonna come down here. So that area and right around there, those are your support areas right now. And first line would be somewhere around here. If it breaks that, well then obviously we know, but it seems to me like it might have to round back up here. And I wouldn't be surprised if we got a rejection at 50 cents. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But if you do, we could get some kind of breakout attempt here before the futures opens. But we are on the bottom side of this, so it's going to be difficult to get a lot of sustainability. But I do see a possibility of actually reversing up, assuming we can't get a volume spike. If we can get some volume to the downside, I have no doubt we can break down here quite a bit. 
But as of right now, it looks like we're still looking for that back test on the uptrending support. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. I got to get my saw started, so I got to get into the store and finish what I'm doing. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button.